This is a portrait of Chief Gayantua Ge, a proud leader of the Seneca tribe. Gayantua Ge means corn planter. He was born in western New York State, the son of a Seneca mother and a European fur trader. In 1796, a European artist named Bartoli painted this portrait. The chief is showing off what he's wearing, and there's a story behind why. Gayantua Ge was a mighty warrior. In the 1750s, he led his tribe into battle against the French. Then, during the American Revolution, he fought with the British against the colonists. After the Revolution, Gayantua Ge wanted to live in peace, but he worried about the safety of his villages. Even after the Revolution, British settlers were still living just north of his lands. He knew that if the British and Americans started fighting again, his people could be drawn into war. So in 1786, he came to New York City, at that time the nation's capital. He asked Congress two questions. Did Americans want to live in peace with the Senecas? And would the United States respect the boundaries of the land his people lived on, land assigned to them by treaty? Congress assured the chief that he had nothing to worry about, and that's where the portrait comes in. As a token of respect and friendship, the Congress gave him many gifts, some of which you can see the silver wristbands, and a gorget, the silver crescent hanging on a chain around his neck. Military officers at that time wore a gorget as a badge of rank, and the scarlet stroud around his shoulders. A stroud was a rough woolen blanket. The headdress, earrings, and nose ring are Seneca ornaments, not gifts. But we're not sure about the smoking pipe. Some historians think the artist Bartoli might have added it as a symbol of peace between the Americans and the Senecas.